I think that wardrobe does like everything. It does a large majority of it. I'd say in particular the shoes because there's such a difference in the relationship that you have to your body versus heels or Ugg boots or if you're wearing something that's skin tight or if you're wearing sweatpants. It changes everything. Um, it's one of the most important aspects I think because I'm also a huge fan of really understanding a character but doing it with as few words as possible and so wardrobe becomes an incredible way to tell a story visually without needing to explain so much about what's happening internally in someone. Whatever that red carpet look is was one that I really um, avoided for most of my life. I just never really felt beautiful like that. Never felt beautiful with makeup on and heels on. I had a history of having panic attacks before going to premieres and things because I look in the mirror and I don't recognize myself when I have makeup on. But once I started seeing it as a character and seeing it as a new way to get to know myself, and every step of my life is basically that. I'm going to live my whole life with me so I can actually become a person that I'm continually trying to get to know because I'm changing all the time. So once I was able to flip it a little bit and go, okay, so the person who wears sweatpants and plays Zelda all day, like that girl I know really well, I know her. I know her like the back of my hand, but what about the girl who's you know, wearing a Dior dress? Like, why not? It's such an anomaly and such a, such a gift, I think, to even have the, this ridiculous luxury to be able to try it, to put a dress like this on. So why not try it out? That's all I'm doing, really, is just trying it out.